so I'm going to uh, demonstrate a little bit more on the waveform editor here. And uh, the bit that I'm going to go over here is loading a, uh, a waveform from a sound file. Uh, Monster Wave, both Monster Wave XT and Monster Wave 1 will import in uh, WAV files, MP3 files, AIF files. Um, but a, a, a note here is that it is looking for a sound file that's uh, 1,024 samples long, uh, whose half cycle is, is 512 samples long. Um, I'm going to jump over into Audacity real quick here. Um, here is a sample that was brought in from the architecture waveform uh, sample library. And you see I've got my uh, uh, length and end of selection uh, readout here set to samples, and this is 1024 samples. And you can see this is a full waveform, um, or full uh, uh, full cycle waveform. Um, it goes, it's basically a mirror image of itself halfway through here. And what Monster Wave is actually looking at is the first 512 samples. So as opposed to the first 64 samples uh, when in dealing with transferring file, uh, transferring wave files to and from the uh, microwave, um, when we're importing files, importing audio files, we're dealing with the first 512 samples. Okay, so uh, if you have, if you're dealing with waveform uh, libraries that you've downloaded from the internet, um, there's a whole variety of places you can get them. Um, you're going to want to batch process those those waveforms to be 512 samples long uh, as a half cycle, um, otherwise 1024 for the entire cycle. Uh, it'll make sense after a little bit of tinkering, but um, just generally note that's all all in the manual, and there's also a process. The process is is uh, laid out uh, on how to um, batch process those those waveforms um, so that Monster Wave can work with them uh, as expected. And I say as expected. Uh, because you can bring in sound files that are any length. And Monster Wave is not going to reject those files. It's just not going to bring it in as you might expect. All right, so I'm just going to dive right in here and show you. It's supposed to talk more. Um, so here I've got this architecture waveforms folder, and all of these files have been batch processed to be five, actually 1024 samples long uh, for the full cycle waveform. And so at the half cycle, it's uh, 512. Um, samples long so and of course I've got uh, SFK files for each one of these so uh, just ignore that but you can see here um, it brings in the first 512 samples uh, from the audio file here and translates that to 64 samples um, so it's gonna be you know rejecting some of those bytes um, so if you have a very intricate waveform here uh, that's you know you know brought in um, you might lose a little bit of resolution when it comes into the editor um, I'm gonna save this to the synth and I'm gonna save this to Let's say uh, 1,000, why not? Um, then I'm going to, once again, initiate this patch. And uh, select user 100. And if I double click in a uh, position in the wavetable, that will um, deactivate that assignment. So I'm just deactivating these slots. And I'm going to set this to 1,000. Bear with me here. OK, I'm going to be saving this to 1,000. This is my little preview. Uh, 1,000, confirm. So when I click on this, it basically just loads that waveform back into this editor, and so no change. Um, so I'm I'm dealing with that. So I know that this is what's in uh, position one of the wavetable. So then I'm going to set this to uh, waveform 1248 and load in a different wave file. Uh, pull in something a little bit different. <clears throat> Complex non sign. Yeah, that's a little bit, a little funky. Um, and you see that the the WAV file coming in looks like the WAV file going out. So this is this is the, these are the first sixty four bytes that I'm editing in Monster Wave. This is how the waveform appears to the microwave, and this is how the waveform appears coming in. Uh, so yeah, you see what you get in is what you're getting out here. If this waveform was much more complex, it might be uh, simplified a little bit here in the wave editor, and you would see that reflected down here. Okay, I'm going to save this to uh, waveform 1248. Confirm, 
and um, now when I click here, I should see my first waveform and click here, I'll see my next waveform. That's all good. Uh, user 100, wavetable, save to synth. I'm going to save this to 100 and hold that note. And so those are the, the interpolated waveforms between those two spots, those two slots. I can come in here at about, you know, wherever. I'm going to come in here at about 24, and I'm going to insert a new waveform. Say 1237 for the heck of it. I'll say about to 1237. Seven. Confirm. I don't hear it until I save. There it is. Till forty seven. So here's an example where I've got quite a lot going on here, um, and I've lost some of that data here. And, you know, it's kind of just, there's, there's a lot more a lot more detail in this original original file that the, the microwave just really doesn't deal with. So this is what we're left with. Just wanted to demonstrate that. So I'm gonna save this waveform to 1247. Again, I don't hear it until I save it back to the synth. Cool, then I'm gonna come in here. Just repeating this process just so, you know, to, to get the point across, I guess. Uh, so 1200, waveform 1200. And I'm just picking arbitrary numbers here. These are there's no rhyme or reason as to why I'm picking these numbers. These are just waveform user waveforms that I'm saving to. And I'm going to load in another file. Twelve hundred. And again, I don't hear it until I save it back to the synth. And you'll notice the other thing that I'm that I'm doing is I'm <coughs> excuse me. The other thing that I'm doing here is I'm parking the uh, you know I'm, I'm traveling through the wave table with the start wave parameter, uh, but I'm parking in the position where I am placing the new waveform assignment so that I hear that sound or that timber change instantly upon saving the wavetable back to the synth. So here I'm at, at position 34, and I'm going to add another, uh, yet another waveform, 1230, why not? Uh, so I'm going to load that in. And just for kicks here, I'm also going to uh, shape this waveform. And if I want to maximize the amplitude of this waveform, I can put in a, uh, a square wave uh, 
uh, it's a single cycle square wave, and then mix that shape. You can see it's actually maximizing the amplitude there. Um, and I've got limit high and limit low enabled there. I really didn't want to do that. Um, regardless, uh, I'll try this again. Mix that, and now I've got limit high and limit low turned off. So I hit plot mix, and then I can shift that down. Let's see. Boom. Okay, cool. And then save this to waveform 1230. And again, save that wave table back to the synth, and I'll hear this sound. Cool. All right, and, you know. And, uh, all right, and that concludes the uh, demonstration on uh, wavetable editing uh, and you know editing waveforms in Monster Wave XT. Thank you.